that are being used, the drops? Yes. Well, the drops that are being used are very effective, but they also come with many problems. If you have anybody, and I know many of you are in the audience here tonight, when you use the eye drops, a lot of people find the drops irritate. And I'm not sure if that's what you're alluding to, but they irritate and they burn and they give the itchy burnies and redness. And that's one of the reasons why you can't get through to my office, because people are calling every day to say that alpha-gan is causing a red eye or whatever the case may be. So having said that, the drops do irritate and this is often due to pH problems or it's due to preservative problems. But the bottom line is you have to use the drops if you're going to save your sight. And using the drops regularly really will protect you for most of your life. Now, as I've indicated to you, some people do deteriorate despite all our treatments, but that's unusual. It's a very big topic you've asked me about and I'm just scratching the surface. Is there anything specific? There are, there are, there are. There are about three or four major classes of drugs, and they all come with their pros and cons. Is there a question up at the back in the left? Yes. yes. Uh, what about the pseudo exfoliation? Yeah. Okay, well, that's an interesting question. Yeah, pseudo exfoliation is a very interesting condition. It's um, sort of a dandruffy condition. When you look in the eye, when the ophthalmologist looks in, he sees little flakes that look, they, they really look like dandruff. And these little flakes are associated with blocking of the drainage system. And pseudo-exfoliated glaucoma is a form of open-angle glaucoma, but it's an aggressive form of glaucoma. It's harder to treat, and the prognosis is a little bit worse, <coughs> worse with it. It's harder for the patient to deal with, it's harder for the ophthalmologist to deal with, and it requires quite a lot of aggressive therapy, more so than the usual kind of glaucoma, which is primary open-angle glaucoma. However, it's easily managed. Not always, not always, but pseudo-exfoliated patients, uh, the, the, the rate of surgery is much higher in pseudo-exfoliated patients because they have greater problems with the outflow or the drainage system. Over the back in your left. Sure. Is there any connection between uh, glaucoma and detachment of the retina? And my second question is, should the drops be put at exactly the same time of day? Okay. So can I answer the second question first? Because that's really an important question. And the answer is yes. If your ophthalmologist says put the drops in every 12 hours, he means or she means every 12 hours. And the first drop should always go in as early as possible in the morning. Because we know that when you wake up and open your eyes, that's when the pressure shoots up. So put the drops in first thing in the morning and exactly 12 hours later, so that's 6 in the morning, then 6 at night. Okay, some of the drops are prescribed for late at night, uh, and those should be prescribed when you're told to do so by the ophthalmologist. But uh, using the drops regularly is the key to success. That's the precaution, and that's the therapy to fight this thief in the night. Point number two, retinal detachment? No. There's no strong relationship between the two conditions. Obviously, there are many types of glaucoma, and you can sometimes find glaucoma in patients who've had retinal detachment surgery, but that's usually what we call a secondary glaucoma. It's related to complications of surgery. So I think okay. we'll take one more question okay. and then we have to get on with our proceedings. Please. Is there any relationship between left right and glaucoma? There's absolutely none. No relationship whatsoever, and again, Itchies and burnies and scratches and irrita irritation have nothing to do with glaucoma. Remember what I said? Glaucoma is completely symptomless. You don't know you have it. Now, blepharitis occurs in many, many people. Okay? And it doesn't mean to say that you can't have blepharitis and glaucoma at the same time. Of course you can. Okay? But they're not related. Okay, so thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.